Did you see that? Yeah, it's a fly. I got this. No, I got this. I mean, it was around here just a second ago. What? Jay? Don't move. What? Just stay still. It's on my face, right? Just don't worry. It doesn't bite. But stay still. But relax. Wait. Ow. Ash. Missed it. Sorry, bro. Ash. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Mm. Yes. Ugh. What are you doing here? I told you. Wherever you go, whatever you do, I would always find you. Who brought you here? Uh, actually, that would be me. I have been a good friend of your father's for a very long time. Now, since all of us belong to the same family, of the secret seers of the underworld, I want to suggest that we all recite the creed. After three. One, two, three. Go! One blood, one soul, one heart, stands for all, speaks for all. Why is nobody speaking for all? What is happening? Get out. Ah. Sonia, I want to speak with my son. Uh, we can all speak together as a family. I said, get out. Ha. For the record, Sonia, this is my office. For the record, by the time I'm done with you, you wouldn't even remember you had an office. Come on, get out. Since you kicked me out of the house almost 20 years ago, this will be the first time that we set my eyes on you physically. I know. Yet, you sent a prostitute to ruin my life. You locked me up in jail. You appeared to me in the spirit realm taught me to a madman. I know. Then what do you want from me? I need you, Martins. 
I really do. It is urgent. Urgent. Martins, all that has happened is in the past. And we have no time to address the past. The future is not bright. If we do not take hold of it, the darkness ahead will overwhelm us. Okay, so what do you want from me now? You want, you want to initiate me? No. I'm rather here to be initiated by you. What do you mean? I am the heart of the secret seer. I am the first in rank. Holder of the secret seer. A position I bought with blood. That is not a nobody, nobody in the realm had more authority and power than I did. That is not my business. I don't need this. I don't need this. I rode on the third dimension to call you to myself. You answered by fire. Martins, you have powers. I need those powers. It's always about powers for you, right? You've not changed. It's always about powers for you. They are after our lives. No! They are after your lives. You've ruined people. You've wasted lives. And now you want, you, you want a way out. I deserve a way out. There is no way out for the wicked. There are consequences for every action. Don't for once think that that you will be an exemption. I don't have time, Martins. Please. You, you deserve whatever is coming your way. I swear, I swear, you deserve. I know. I know. But if there was another way, I could pay back everything I have done. I would take it. I would pay. It's too late. Is there another life better than this life? Martins, please tell me. I don't have the strength to give you what you are looking for. Tomorrow may be too late for me, son. You've taken away a lot of people's tomorrow. The tears that you shed today won't bring back the lives that you've wasted yesterday. Martin! 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 You! I will expose you for who you are and what you've done. I promise you, everybody will know what you've done. What are you talking about? What am I talking about? What am I talking about? Really? What am I talking about? 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 Are you okay, sir? Are you okay, I'm okay. Sir? I'm okay. Uh, I'm okay. Uh, Soya, what is happening? Why is your son behaving like a lunatic? A madman? He's not a member. Not a member? Martins is not a member. Oh no. Oh no. But I thought... Whoever gave you that information gave you a wrong one. Martins is not a member. Hello, Baba Dminro. Flora, how are you? Fine, sir. You've been on my mind. How's everything? How's your relationship with Jesus? It has been the best thing ever. I have a good news for you, sir. Tell me, I'm all ears. There's a new convert in town, sir. A new convert? Yes, sir. His name is Kayode. I preached to him this afternoon and he has accepted Jesus. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Wow, wow, wow! This is a great news! 
It is Baba Benro. We would like to come to your house, sir. I told him about the beauty and joy of the Holy Spirit. And he wants the same experience. Please, bring him right away. I, I, I want to see him. Okay, we'll be on our way, sir. Thank you, sir. I'll be expecting you. Mr. Dibola, what have I done? What happened? Two strangers are coming to my house and I've not informed mommy. Will you inform her now? Uh, she went to one of her friend's house. Will you call her then? No, it is not necessary. Wait. Wait a minute. Does she... Does she know I am here? <laughs> Actually, um, all things work together for good to those that love Jesus. <laughs> Where were we? What were we discussing? Dele. Yes, Dele. Dele. What, what, what's going on? Are you Mr. Martin? Yes, I'm Mr. Martins. Fa, you have to follow us to the station. What? What's happening in the station? What, what are you talking about? We assaulted the principal officer of this institution. The registrar! <sighs> Can I explain something to you? The man was, this, this man is not what you think he is. This man is not what you think he is. Be a gentleman I and move. You, you, you need to get your facts. It's not exactly what you think. No, 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 no. Just explain when something. When you get to the please. station, you will explain. Yes, please. They are please. taking me to the... When you get to the station, you will... What? What? Please. please. Hello? You had my son arrested. What a front tree. Chief, please listen to me. No, you listen. You just beating more than you can chew. You had my son arrested? Hey, stop ranting, Chief. Stop ranting. What did you just say? I said stop ranting. If you are not careful, I will also get you arrested. Damn me. You think I'm a fool? Okay, okay. You know what I'd advise you? Choose your next words very carefully. I have no business with you. Mm. You expired cargo. What? Oh, you think I don't know? Everybody knows that you are living on borrowed time. How dare you? How dare me? Your useless son assaulted me. He threatened to expose me before the whole world. And you are there saying, how dare you? Go to hell. What? Ah! In my 30-year professional career, I have never been assaulted, violated, or humiliated like I was by that ungrateful riffraff, that empty scum, that idiotic pedophile. Yes, I will expose him for who he is. Martins Sawyer came to my office and assaulted me. He threw a mug at me. He grabbed my clothes. He, he grabbed me, roughed me up. I mean, what would have happened? if my family had found out that I had been knocked unconscious by an insane lecturer. After all I had done for this university, this is not fair. I have given my all to this institution. I do not sleep at night because of the missing students, but Martins, Sonia came to my office and he assaulted me. Me? I was warned. I was warned about his mental health, but I refused to pay attention. I discarded the information, and now it has bounced back at me. Ladies and gentlemen, everybody, please pay no attention to any nonsense that may come forth from Martin Sawyer. 
henceforth. You know, a mental patient can speak or say any nonsense at any time. I appeal to you all. I Mr. beg Ricky, you what's going on? to discard anything coming forth from Martin Sawyer. Let it be known that Martin Sawyer is a mental patient who has not fully recovered. And he should be taken to the psychiatric hospital as soon as possible. He's a lunatic. Oh, Jesus. Lord Jesus. I am sorry. I messed up. Oh, I messed up. I wish I was more patient. I wish I had better control of my emotions. I wish... I wish... I wish I talked to my father about Jesus. That would have solved so many issues. That would have landed here. Look at me. Now I'm back to the mess. I'm back to the mess that you pulled me out of. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lord. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Come in. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Oh, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Parents? Yes, parents. Oh, please. Okay. Sit. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thanks, sir. Uh, have we met? Uh, yes. I was here the other day to talk about my missing son. And then we are here to talk about one Mr. Martins, who was reported to have insulted you. Oh, please, please, get your facts right. Do you know how many insults I have received? I was not only insulted by Martins, he assaulted me. And that, I cannot take. <sighs> I'm very sorry, sir. It's okay. We want you to tender justice with mercy. We heard that he has been arrested. Uh, sorry. Who are you to him? Uh, I'm his guardian. I will advise you to allow him to remain in the police station. That is where he belongs, not here in a university. Please, sir. Don't make such a hasty decision. Look, if that mug he threw at me had landed on my head, there would be no registrar here for you to talk to. Eh? Look, if he can wreak that kind of havoc on me, just imagine what he will do to other staff or lecturers. Yes, but... Um, I hope you know that that boy is mentally ill. Oh, no, 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 he's not. He's not. If you don't know that, then you don't know him. Can we please discuss about his release? Can you get out of my office? I have other things to attend to. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Your daughter is also missing. Yes. When last did you hear from her? She was with a friend. She said his name is Daniel.
last did you hear from your son? He was paying a friend a visit. He said his name was Michael. He said, he said he was safe in a friend's place. Who is this friend? He called his name Coyote. And he said he was God sent. God sent? That was how he said it. And after that, I tried reaching out to him, only to discover that he's not going to be found. Oh. They were all lured. At least you tried. I don't understand what is happening. I really need to hear his own side of the story. What I thought the registrar had cleared your doubt. Yes, but some things are not adding up. Hmm. Baba Gbenro, can I ask you a question? Please, feel free. What is more important to you? My missing son or Martin's imprisonment? What kind of question is that, Mr. Adibola? I just need to find out. <laughs> find out what? Whether I'm in the right place or not. <sighs> Mr. Dipola, are you thinking I don't care about your missing son? You cut me off. I don't understand. At the registrar's office, Baba Gbero, you cut me off. We are at the registrar's office to discuss the imprisonment of Martins, not your missing son. That is still not a reason to cut me off. I didn't cut you off. Don't lie to me. Don't call me a liar, Mr. Dibola. I came all the way here. The only help you could offer is to preach to me. You did not even rise up from your seat. Talk less of leaving your house. But for Martins, you were out there patronizing the registrar's office for his release. How does that justify the love that you say you have for my son? You should be hungry, Mr. Tebola. Since you came over, you've not had anything to eat. Hunger is the least of my worries right now. Let me assure you, daily we come back home. Mm. Hello? Yeah. Mr. Adigbola, I'm sorry for the way I treated you the last time. Officer, it's okay. It's okay. Is there any update on my son? Well, in my investigation, I discovered something. See, see, I am tired of investigations. I want results. Mr. Adigbola, Without investigations, we can't get results. So, what did you discover? Dele was not the only student kidnapped on that day. Okay. All the kidnapped students were lured by their friends. Ah, <laughs> Is this our new convert? Yes, sir. This is our new convert. Sir. Ah. Those friends must be agents to the cultist. Officer Gabriel, how is this information helpful in the search for my son? How? Wonderful, please come in. Yes, sir. <laughs> Great. Very, very happy to see you. Eh? Me, the Lord, is the best thing in life. How would that help me find my son? I think if we find the agents, we will find Delhi. How can we find the agent? Okay, okay. And I trust God to reward you. Amen. Uh, what's your name again? What did you say his name was again? My name is Kayode. His name is Kayode. Ah, Kayode, welcome! <laughs> Jesus. You! Sir? 
Hello, Mr. Dibola. Is anything the matter? I've seen this face before. This is our latest convert. Mr. Dibola, are you there? Hello? I met you in the campus. I asked you about my missing son. Yes. You walked away without giving me a proper answer. Mr. Dibola, let's calm down. Have you seen this face before? Ah, Mr. Dibola, shouldn't we at least welcome our new combat? Asbero, please don't interrupt me. Have you seen this face before? Yes. Are you the agent? What are you talking about? Mr. Debola, please, please. Were you responsible for his kidnap? Ah. Uh. Please answer me. Mr. Debola, you are frightening me. Mr. Debola, please don't interrupt me. How would I interrupt you? When you are scaring away a new convert. Convert, yes. Convert, yes, convert. What, what makes him a convert? Because he's running here and calling himself one. No. Because whosoever the son of man has set free is free indeed. Back then, please don't preach to me. My son is missing. And I assure you, he will be found. How will he be found? How will he be found? When you are harboring a criminal in your house. How dare you call him a criminal? He is a bloody criminal. Until he's proven otherwise. You don't have the right to call him that. I have the right to call him anything I want. <sighs> Mr. Debola, I'm begging you. This is precious. I was the kidnapper. Mr. Martins, you've not answered our question. What will make a lecturer assault a registrar? That's what I've been trying to explain, but you people are not even listening to me. <laughs> See, Mr. Ma, what you are explaining is not making any sense at all. It's not making sense. Ah, how is it not making sense? Did you throw a mug at him? Yes. Did you grab his shirt? Th Let me explain. See, don't explain anything. Just answer yes or no. Y yes. You are a terrorist. Ah, how, how am I a terrorist for God's sake? I am not a terrorist. You grab the shirt of your superior, a old registrar. Ah, ah. What will be your next call of action? This one, you go to the VC's office and knock the innocent man down. What is your problem? Why well, you are not a wrestler for goodness sake? Wait, wait, wait. Can I talk? Talk. Okay. Um, this, this registrar you are talking about. Mm. <laughs> He's a cultist. <laughs> what is your problem? <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't you feel he's trying to say something very important? I'm sorry. We are listening. What cult does he belong to? Thank you very much for that question. He belongs to the lower chamber. That—that <laughs> <laughs> that is why he needed my help because mm. he, he thought that I, I that I was in the upper chamber. <laughs> You see, I have a question for you. Yeah, please ask. <laughs> Is there a middle chamber? <laughs> what, what, what? So, uh, where is this court located? Ah. See, I, is it a customary court or a federal court? Oh, God. Ah. So, no, no, you, you don't understand. See, mm -hmm. this, this man, this registrar, is a member of the secret seal of mm -hmm. the underworld. Now, this, this, this court, is a high-ranking fraternity in this country. Mm -hmm. Have you ever wondered why students are missing? Mm -hmm. Students are kidnapped, missing. Now, this man is responsible. Mm -hmm. All right? This is the demon you have been looking for, the devil you have been looking for. Mm -hmm. I saw him discussing with my father yesterday. Mm -hmm. And look, mark my words, they are planning another kidnap. And if you people don't rise up to your responsibilities, more students will be kidnapped and their blood will be on your head. So you have to do something. Let's get the car ready. Okay. What, what for? This man needs to go to the psychiatric hospital. Oh, God. Do I look like a, I look like a madman? It's just for a checkup. What checkup? What are you talking about? When we get to the hospital, you will know. Yeah. This, this information I'm giving you people, mm. these, these are mysteries. Mm. Mystery. 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 Yes. These are coded information. Mm. Coded information. And it's only people in the upper chamber that are privy to this information. And I'm telling you for free. This, this is this, these are facts. You see, 
Thank you so much for revealing this information to us. When you get to the doctor's place, you continue your mysteries. I, I, I need to see my lawyer. Only he will determine if I should be in this psychiatric hospital or not, but I need to see my lawyer. I'm sorry, sir. Is he alive? Sir? Is my son still alive? I don't know, sir. I'm also here looking for answers. You will lead us to where he is. Do you understand? The thing is, I don't know where they keep the kidnapped victims. But I'm ready to do whatever you want me to do, even if it's to go undercover for questions. If anything happens to my son, I promise you, young man, I promise you, you will not in jail. Um, Mr. Debola, calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. Papa Goro, please don't tell me to calm down. You have a criminal in your house. He's willing to help us. But with this tension, you won't get much help. If, if Martins was the one that was kidnapped, you won't be telling me to come down here. Why are you bringing the issue of Martins into this? Because you care for no one except Martins. <sighs> Mr. Martins. You know him? Mr. Martins, Sawyer. Yeah. How do you know him? He's, he's my lecturer. Who are you to him? I'm his, uh, uh, I'm, I'm his father. Uh, not a biological father like that. It's just like a guardian. You understand what I'm... Mr. Like Debola, I think he gets the point. Who is he to you? He, he's my lecturer. He's the first person that told me about Jesus. I just wish I, I could see him so that I can tell him how sorry I am for pulling a gun at him. You did what? You did what? Babagbeiro, calm down now. Calm down. Martins. Someone is here for you. So are you here to get me out? No, I'm still working on it. Guy. Guy, guy, I, I can't stay another day here. Martins, what's this thing with you and prison? What kind of question is that? What are you talking about? It keeps calling you and you keep answering. How many times have I been to the prison? Is it until they make you the ambassador to the prison before you know that there's something seriously wrong? See, please, I'm begging you. Keep this from Baba Guero, huh? And I don't want him to know because you know, you know the way he is, he'll be so worried about things. I'm sorry. What, what are you sorry about? Everybody knows. Including Baba Guero. He's part of everybody. Ah. You know, the registrar spoke with the press and told them that you assaulted and attacked them. Even said you have a mental history. Ah! That man, that man, that man, that man is evil. That man is evil. See, Martins, I know that you are not mental. But. But what? Did you attack him? That man is evil. So, attacking him is the best way to, to cure him of his evilness. That's what I'm trying to explain. That man is responsible for the death and the kidnappings in that school, and yet he sits in his office acting overly righteous. See, Martins, do you have any evidence to support this claim? Where did I get evidence from, for Of course I don't. Martins, you, you should be wiser than this. You had once been in this speed before. You have no reason whatsoever to go back in there. Guero, I am here because I fought to expose the truth. I fought to expose the truth. Fight a pig and you hang dirty. The last time you tried fighting evil with your power, where did it get you? Miro, see ya. You would have to help me fight this. I tried to explain all this to the police, but they wouldn't believe me. They think I'm mentally ill. 
They were even talking about taking me to the psychiatric hospital. Can you imagine that? This is all you get when you try fighting spiritual battles with physical weapons. You end up making a fool of yourself. You should be way wiser than this. What are you here to do exactly? I'm here to tell you that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God in pulling down our strongholds. These people you are fighting, you can't pull them down with your fist, but you can pull them down on your knees. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness in my places and rulers of darkness. My friends, if you want God to step in, you have to step back. You are right. You are right. You are actually right. Ah. I'm going to I, it doesn't deserve this. No, it doesn't. I don't deserve it. You're right. You don't. I'm giving him too much stress. Too much stress. Even his own son wouldn't give him that much stress. Yeah, actually, I... Pero, as a friend and as a brother, are you not supposed to say the opposite of what I'm saying so that at least I will feel better? I'm only admitting you're right. I, do, I, don't, I don't need that. I don't need that now. Okay. I'm sorry. When are you getting me home? Soonest. But it might take a little while. I would suggest that you use your time in there to meditate and to reflect on the... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Please, please. I'm sorry, Baba Gwenro. I will have to hand him over to the police. You have every reason to do that. And I'm not going to stop you. But I want to employ you to give him time. That is all he's asking for. And why should I? Because he told me he's now a believer. I'm sorry. But that doesn't erase the fact that he is responsible for my missing son. If you take me to the prison now, I won't be of much help. All I'm asking for is time. Give me time to find him. And when I do, you can do whatever you want to do with me. I don't have time. Mr. Digbola, there is always time. Baba Guerrero, I can't believe that you are falling to the deception of this cultist, this kidnapper. What is the guarantee that he will be here by tomorrow? This boy is already plotting his escape. All he wants is time and I'm not ready to give him. Mr. Debola, if God did not give us time, we would have all perished in our sin. Long time ago. Please, please, don't preach to me. This kidnapper should be prosecuted. Yes. You're right. I should be persecuted because I persecuted. You did what? You know the similarities between Paul and I? We both rode on horses. Paul rode on us to Damascus to persecute God's people. I rode on us of courtesy. I felt I, Almighty, I fell on top of the world and I persecuted innocent students. Some died under my watch. Some are still in the cage as we speak. But nobody sees the light of Jesus and remain on his horse. I was thrown off my horse. I am down, Mr. Dibola. All I want is Jesus. If you take me to the prison now, it's fine with me. If Jesus is with me, 
If you give me a few more days, I will expose this light that I have seen to the darkness in this school. I want to live for Jesus. And I want to lead people to Him. Please pray for me. <laughs> Daddy, I'm seeing strangers. Mommy, you're seeing believers. <laughs> yes. Good morning, Registrar. I don't remember fixing an appointment with you. Oh, no, you don't have to. Well, since you are already here, what can I do for you? What is your end game? What do you mean? I saw your interview. Everybody saw it. Everybody did. Uh, I am still recovering from the assault. I'm fine now. Gradually recovering. Thank you for asking. The whole world saw your side of the story. As it should. But no one saw his own side of the story because you silenced it. A mentally deranged man has no story to tell. I know that man. I have spoken with him. He is not mentally deranged. Then? Then explain to me why he assaulted me. Explain to me why he threw a mug at me. And then he grabbed my shirt and he roughed me up. Explain! Okay. But before I explain, I will need you to explain why you invited him to your office that day before the altercation. What? You invited him twice to your office. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. What was the meeting for? Uh, well. I can call anyone to my office when I want to ask them whatever I want. This meeting was different. It was special. This meeting was a secret. What was the meeting about? I am not under any obligation to tell you what I discuss with staff or lecturers. What if I told you the meeting was recorded? Recorded? Oh, yeah. How? <laughs> By pressing the record button. I have full details of everything you said that day. What proof do you have? I will not justify that reply with a proof. Because those in the lower chamber are never contented. Lower chamber? They always want more. And I will give you more, Mr. Larry Waju. More than you bargained for. More than you can ever imagine. If you want to use people's lives to get to the upper chamber, then you have to go through me. Wipe your sweat, sir. The battle has just begun.
It is time to go. No. No, no, no. I'm not ready to go. No, I'm not going. I'm not ready to go. I'm not going. I'm not ready to go. No, I'm not ready to go. So it is none of my business. Martins Durosoya. He knows everything. Everything. He is talking to the police already. They have me on record, Rambo. What? What? Is Martins not part of the fraternity? No. No. It was a setup. They set me up. And now they want to expose us to the whole world. Never! It is not possible. You need to do something, Rambo. What do you want me to do? You need to eliminate him. We don't have time. Take him down. If you don't take him down, he will take us down. Noted. Hello. Why is Martin still alive? I'm working on it. That was the same thing you said the last time we talked. Trust me. Martin is going down this time. You have no choice, Rambo. You have no choice. Either goes down or you go down. Make a choice. I will call you tonight and give you details of his kidnap. That's what I want to hear. Hey, get the boys ready. You strike tonight. Who be that? Let's go and see you. Who? You talk to one in Siena and you go see him. Who are you? Good afternoon, Rambo. You have not answered my question. My name is Chief Duro Sawyer. I have a job for you.
There are kingdoms in this world But we belong to the kingdom of heaven